Hi everyone, this is Dom Designs here, back with a new Illustrator tutorial. Halloween is around the corner, so in today's video, I'll teach you how to turn this cute ghost character illustration into a flat design vector graphic. If it's your first time on my channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and speed arts, then please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Alright, so I always like to start by sketching out my character on a piece of paper. If you're following along and you're not experienced in hand drawings, then don't be afraid to use any references you can find on Google. Just remember to change it up a little as to not copy it. Once we are done sketching, I will take a picture of it with my phone and import it onto Illustrator using the placement option, which is Command Shift P on your keyboard. We will be using a document size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. We will then set our image as a template by double clicking on the icon in our layers panel and selecting template. This will lock our image and dim down the opacity by 50%. Let's begin by creating the outline of our ghost character. Firstly, I'll create a new layer and name it Outline. Next, we will remove our fill and set our stroke to a dark purple with a thickness of 8 points. Don't forget to round off the caps and the corners. By clicking P on your keyboard, we will bring up our pen tool. What we will do is trace out our sketch like so. If you don't like your curve, don't be afraid to go back and use Command Z option or just adjust your curves along the process. Now that we have the bottom piece of the hat completed, for the next part, I'll be showing you how I use the Shape Builder tool. Let's trace out this part and overlap our stroke onto the bottom part of the hat. Now, we will select the Shape Builder tool and click on the part of the hat that we want to keep. And then we will delete the unwanted shape. To finish off this part, use the Curvature tool to round off these strokes right here. By using these methods, I'll speed up our video. Now that we have the top of the hat completed, we can go back and fix some of our overlapping strokes. Using the Shape Builder tool, we can also delete strokes. So let's select everything and go to our Shape Builder. By holding down Option on your keyboard, just click on the part of the stroke you want to delete, like so. For the next step, I will be using the Width tool. We're going to want to make our stroke taper in towards the end. So, using the Width tool selected, let's click and drag our point in the middle of our stroke to about the same size as the original thickness. Then, we click and taper in the end of the stroke to give it this cool effect. Now let's complete the outline process using the same techniques I just explained.
Now it's time to give our ghost character its base color. Let's create a new layer and name it color. Make sure it is below the outline layer. Using one of our pre-selected colors from our palette, let's outline our character using the pen tool. Once we have our color shape completed, you will notice that our base color is behind our outline. This process will make it easier when wanting to make modifications later on in your drawing. For the body, let's use this soft beige color. The hat will have a base color of purple and gold. And finally, let's give his lollipop a gold and orange color. Awesome, this is looking really nice. Next, we will give our character shadows and highlights. Let's create a new layer and name it shadows. We will then turn off our color layer and turn on our template layer. This way we can see where our shadows will be placed. And just like when we gave our character its base color, let's apply its shadows. Our shadows will be a slightly darker tone from the base. Let's continue this process. I'll accelerate the video so I don't bore you for too long. As you can see, when you turn on the color layer, it's starting to look really good. Let's continue adding our shadows using our darker tones. Great, now that we have our shadows, let's add some highlights. For this, I'll be using the same method, except I'll be using a lighter color. And this is optional, but I like to add deep shadows to certain areas. This will bring out our illustration a little more. Loving how this looks so far. Now we're going to end this video by adding a shadow underneath our character, a background color, and a few little details. I'll see you at the end of the video.
And there you have it. This is how to draw a cute ghost character from Sketch to Vector in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel grow. See you in the next one. Cheers everyone!